What's up, everybody? This is Cashflow Nexus, the channel of faith, trading, and wealth. And today we're going to be going over XRP with Ichimoku analysis. Stay tuned. you guys we are here looking at the chart with xrp uh before we go over that i want to say this because uh, i haven't if, if everybody knows that's been on my channel uh, if you are a subscriber currently on my channel you know that i always put god first on my channel always 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 so i don't have a scripture for you guys today or you know a message but i did we i did have them actually i do have a message I have the message that I have put out yesterday. I'm going to link it in the, the comment section so y'all could look at the comments below. I will put it in there and pin it at the top. But definitely watch that video. It's a message that I got from God the other day. Pretty much, I, I want to you know just reiterate what I was saying. I'm saying uh, God is looking for people during this time that are going to have a backbone and speak up about his word and be real about his word and keep truth and hold on to real faith not the faith that you know that is lukewarm and that is uh you know fake like the world but the truth and nothing but the truth uh in jesus christ so that's what i wanted to say before we get into this analysis you guys always have to give god glory and his praise always first before i get started so now we are going to look at the charts uh, when I see XRP, like I've been saying, there's nothing here that's, you know, really new. <laughs> uh, I've been said this, XRP is in a range. I'm not surprised if you look at the weekly. This market's flat. And the reason why I could tell this market's flat even without looking at the candles, this blue line called the Key June is telling me that this market's flat. Whenever Key June goes flat, this market's either in a range as you see here or there's no momentum in the market as you see so market is just dead on the weekly it's just ranging between 21 cents and 17 cents right now so this is just accumulation phase right now xrp i believe will start making a, a grand move around july 27th so you guys be watching july 27th from now to July 27th, I think XRP is going to make some big waves uh, in July. So uh, let me go ahead and jump down to the daily, what I see here. So let me go ahead and take this off so I don't get in the way. All right, we're good. So XRP is just ranging, nothing really special about it. We have a bullish cross here. You know, market is still flat, flat. There's nothing really special here about this market. Uh, can we go lower? Uh, yeah, we can. If we break this level, then I, you know, I'll start to get worried about prices dropping lower. If we break here, then I'll, you know, look for that buying opportunity. But right now, this market is just dead and flat. Uh, if we're looking for trading opportunities, there is none on the higher time frames. It's all going to be on the lower time frame. Let's go down to the one hour. And if you see here on the one hour, there actually was an opportunity. I actually missed it, but it's fine. But the opportunity was in this area right here. So we had a key June break and you see market has went up higher. This is probably where I'll start to look for selling opportunities. So let me go, let me turn this red. So this cloud is going to act as some resistance. As you see, we have a bearish cloud, pretty thick too. And if you notice here, that market has been coming down. So we have broken this trend line. I just see, I get ahead of myself sometimes. But you see here, we have broken this trend line. Uh, we broke this fractal level. Uh, so this was a break here, but we have resistance here. What we need to see for this market to reach any higher, is a break at this level here. Uh, it's a fractal level when the mark, if you know how to trade fractals, uh, fractals are good uh, levels to 
five market structure. When we break this level, level, what I like to see for anything to happen to continue higher, I like to see this move. You know, a break to the upside, probably a bounce here, then continuation to the upside. But you know, right now I still am leaning towards a sell, just because you know this is acting as resistance. We already got rejected here. This one hour candle needs to close or uh, higher or next few uh, hours need to close up, you know, past this level. So we'll see how it acts. Uh, you also, we also see right here, the market's flat, starting to go flat. Kijun went flat, Tinkinson went flat. Secret spend A and B are flat. So I'm expecting the market to start getting rejected here for a short entry. So I will be looking on the lower time frames for that short opportunity. Uh, looking here, so the cloud was here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this line here. So if you look, we are already getting rejected at this level. What I'd like to see is how we fare at this level here. Uh, to move on, we are getting you know thick here, but that doesn't mean anything until we get above this level. And if we do get above this level, then I'll start looking for buying opportunities. There's nothing really here to, you know, that's really promising. It's all moving uh, higher until we get past this point. So right now I'm looking at this market ranging here for the meantime between these two levels. And until we get ab above this level or below this level, then I won't have nothing to say. So what I will do, I will keep a alert at these levels but when I come back to it or, you know, when it uh, triggers, I could make uh, my analysis again and then come back to these levels to make, uh, you, know, you know, to make my decision on whether I'm going to short or go long. But right now there is no real movement here. It's just a flat market. Uh, I don't have any, you know, direction right now on which direction I want to lean towards. Uh, just being realistic because when it comes to trading you can't just make you know moves that are you know just because you feel a certain way so right now the market's 50 50 in my opinion even though we have been rising we have to get above this level to go higher and once we get up when i break higher i want to see it come back down retest after we get a retest then i'll see if the market wants to go higher and if, same thing with the downside. If we get a break here, same thing, retest here, then take it down. Um, so right now, that is my analysis for XRP. XRP is still my favorite asset. It's going to make a lot of people's lives change in the next few years, maybe even sooner. I, I believe it's going to be this year. That's just my opinion. But like I said, it's, you know, we don't know. It's, we're just speculating in the market. Right now, that's my analysis for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like this video, share it. It helps the video grow. And I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned for the next one. The next one. God bless you guys and peace.